Hi everyone and welcome to few tutorials. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to connect a C-Sharp WinForm application with an MS Access database file uh, to read or write data using OLE DB classes. Now in this uh, tutorial, we are going to cover the following things. We're first going to have a look at how an OLE DB uh, OLEDB classes can connect both of these together and after we have seen a conceptual working we are going to move to building our application and the final output of which is going to look something like this. There will be a C Sharp WinForm application with a picture box and a couple of buttons which do the following. Okay, so for this lesson, you need two things ready beforehand. One is an MS Access database file with a .mdb extension. So with some columns, uh, for example, as you can see, I have some data over here. It could be empty, it's up to you, uh, but just have a uh, you know database file ready with some table created, empty or not. And then have a C Sharp WinForm application ready too. Uh, the main thing that your application should do at least is to have some buttons that uh, will work to send or uh, you know fetch data from your database file, and uh, a picture box maybe to send a picture to the database file or to retrieve some if they're present already. And one more thing, I want to say that in this lesson I'm going to uh, you know adopt a more visual approach because all of that text about OLEDB and whatnot, how to connect it to a database, uh, it was really making my brain hurt. So I think visuals stick to your mind better and I'm gonna follow it this time. And if I'm being too informal in my explanation or my visual you know, diagram, I'm, I apologize beforehand, but this is uh, solely to make it less boring this time because it could be really boring if I went to just text so let's see, how, let's try it out, how it goes. Okay, so to connect both of them together, there are multiple ways, but we're going to stick to OLEDB. And uh, OLEDB, how it works, you can consider it as, you know, a set of agents working together to make the job possible of connecting both of these parties together and to move data to and fro, uh, you know, between them. And by agents, I mean the classes of OLEDB. So we'll move on to the first class that you need to know about and you need to declare and use in your code. And that is going to be the OLEDB connection class whose object we're gonna use and ta-da-da. Okay, I'm sorry. Now this guy's job is to actually establish a connection between them both and so this connection needs to know the exact location of your MS Access database file on your hard drive and the exact name of your file too. Uh, but this is not enough for this guy. This guy also needs somebody else or something else to work and that is an OLEDB provider. Now OLEDB provider could be, uh, there are various types and we're gonna stick to microsoft.jet.oledb.4.0 because he's so cool. Okay, he's not so cool. Uh, make sure when you're trying to use Microsoft.jet.oledb.4.0, uh, uh, make sure your target platform of your project is set to 32 bit because this guy is not so good enough to support 64 bit targeted applications. I recently found out, and yeah, so. Your connection needs two things, the provider, the OLEDB provider, and uh, the MS Access database file. So when we have that ready, we'll move on to the next step of making uh, the C Sharp application side ready to when the data is retrieved from the database file, we need some container on this side, the container for the data, so that we can, you know, edit it locally and use it before making final changes to the database file because the database file could be very precious to just change every time on tiny detail and maybe there could be errors. So we need some local container. 
And for the local container, let's say we'll use a data set object. Uh, a data set is a, a default type in C Sharp, and it is a, col a collection of rows and columns, just uh, very similar to the table in the MS Access database file. So whatever you data, whatever data type you can store here would be stored here as well just in the same fashion and in the same sequence. So that makes the best con container for the database, um, for, for the database data uh, locally, the local container. This, so this makes the best local container for the data that we are trying to retrieve or send to our final database file. Right, so we made our C-sharp site ready as well. What do we need more? The next agent that we're gonna call is an OLADB data adapter. I won't go into the you know technical details of a data adapter or how it works, but I'll let you know this. Think of it as a proxy for the MS Access database file. Mm, when you want to make some changes to it, you're going to call the data adapter and the data adapter will have functions to fill or update the MS Access database file. Uh, the fill function of database adapter is going to be to bring the content from the database to your local data set and a data table more uh, precisely. And the update function, if you want to update your MS Access database file, make sure you go through the proxy by calling the database data adapters update function. But there's a catch to data adapter. Now this guy works does not work without another guy called the OLADB command builder. Now, what's this guy doing here? I mean, he's so stressed out. Well, it's his job to be stressed out. Why? Because all the SQL queries that you want uh, of the, because all the SQL queries that the data adapter should be doing itself uh, about inserting or deleting or updating or whatever it's gonna do, that job is done by this poor guy at the back end. Nobody appreciates him and some even miss him out on, in the code and then, you know, they're all worried about what happened to my code. Just remember the data adapter will not update a database file until unless you have called OLEDB command builder properly. I mean, there will be no nobody to, you know, do SQL work and in my code, uh, we're going to be using the data adapter to actually fill the local data set, the local data table, and to update the MS Access database file. But, but to insert some new record to my database file, I'm going to use another agent of OLEDB. And that OLEDB agent, and that is a class, is going to be called the OLEDB command. And yes, you guessed it right, this guy's holding a whip in his hand. And I'm kind of his job hazard. Anyhow, it's his job to make sure that there that a new data, a new record, for example, a fa uh, an image and the title of the image is stored at a new record in the MS Access database file. So that's all for the OLEDB family that's going to help us to connect our C Sharp Inform application to our MS Access database file. How exactly do we use them and the sequence of the calls to all these, uh, you know, family members, the agents that we're going to cover in our code. And uh, we're also going to cover one more thing in the concept that is how exactly an image is stored in an MS Access database file.